a little bit about uh, mold, uh, molds that use a thing called a um, hot runner. Sometimes they refer to it as a valve gate or they, um, they, a pin gate and things like that. But basically, here's a fairly complex part that I pulled down from GrabCAD. It's got all kinds of um, ribs in here. It's got to be a structural part. And um, this is obviously the B side, the ejector side, and then over here is the A side. And they want to try to um, fill this as fast as possible. You've got to run through all those all those ribs and the best way to do it is to just inject right in the center of it so they put a a gate system like one down here one over here one over here one over here and it leaves a, a very small dimple that um that we would use so so we're going to go in and we're going to go to um the mold that makes this and here's the mold and it's got this manifold thing that comes off of here, and this is a uh, oh, it's a big heating and thermal couple control panel. There's a big connector that goes on here, and then it goes off to a controller on the molding machine. And this is a two cavity tool, so so they've got um, the cavities right here, and um, we can uh, let me just see here. We can go ahead and and go in here and. Um, we can hide hide this part right here. So well, it's a body. Let's see here. We'll come down to the body. We can just right click on it and say hide. And so um, on this side it made that drop, and on this side it made the other drop over here. So this um, actually we can hide this right here. And so this is what the mold looks like without a part in it. And now we can hide this core and behind it is the hot runner and we'll start drilling down and looking at um, so this is all an insert a pocket that they inserted this cavity into and then here's the mold base out here and so we're just gonna we're gonna hide this um, this insert right here and and now these are the water lines here so um, but but these these are the hot drops right here you see this little this little pin here and so what happens is the plastic comes down and it and it, it goes out to each of these drops and, and we use a heater here and there's a, a thermostat in there that can tell us what the temperature is. And so I'm gonna just hide a few more things and um, see if we can um, just show that by itself. So I'm gonna hide the base and then I think we can just go here sideways and we can hide some of these guys right here um, so we can see the, um, the, the, these are the water lines, so just, just try to visualize it without the water lines in here but but this particular piece of of equipment um, has these these heaters that are coming off of here and um, we want to be able to um, build this unit that it can drop into our mold so we kind of have to design the mold around those hot drops there and if um, if we turn everybody back on and then we do a section view through it all we can look at the inside. Okay, so, so here is uh, here's the mold, and this is the um, the hot runner going in here. Let me just see if I can expand this out. And um, the uh, the hot runner comes in, and it and the plastic comes in through this this locating ring right here, and it butts up against the spherical um, runner there, and then it comes down and it goes into these these blocks and it sends the plastic up through these heater bands here and this is all heater heated and controlled with thermostats so we want to we want to not burn the material inside of there that's the trick and um, anyhow so that's that's a little bit about how we drop into different cavities using a hot runner or a valve gate okay that's it